Where are you calling in from? Kyle, man, it's Kwan from New Orleans, man. How you doing, brother? Hey, what's up, man? I appreciate it, man. The Big Easy. Uh, man, I, I, you know how fond I am of New Orleans. I was there for the 4th of July and it was like being in, in a melting pot, man. I'd never been hotter in my life. All the places were closed. New Orleans, great place for, um, you know, New Year's and obviously Mardi Gras, but I don't think I'll be back for, uh, for July. Right, right, right. That's the essence time down there. It's usually crazy down there. <laughs> so what's on your mind, Quan? Well, I'm, I'm I'm coming in. I'm just pulling in off the road, Kyle. I, I dropped my son off at college today, and uh, I was listening to the show, so I said, let me call in, man. And just want to hit on a few points real quick. First point is, when Nick Saban come out and chastise our wide receivers, people got to understand that our coach does not have the less mild syndrome from 2014 to 16 when he had Leonard Fournette, and he thought Leonard Fournette was Luke Cage. And he can run through nine to ten man boxes. Coach Saban knows for us to win a national championship, we're going to have to have wide receivers that can stretch the field. And everybody's calling, talking about, well, we're just going to run the ball. Well, I don't care how good Justice Haynes is, how good Jaron Miller is. They're not going to be able to run the ball if Kirby Smart put nine or ten in the box or Brian Kelly put nine and ten in the box. We're going to have to throw the ball. The tight ends, okay, everybody said Tommy Reese loved the tight ends. Well, it don't matter how good Amari Knobloch is, he can't blow the top off of defenses. He's not running past safeties and, second, and DBs. He's just not doing that. And goal line stands, yeah, he, he can get up and get the ball. But we need our wide receivers to be able to blow the tops off defenses, Kyle. And everybody seems to forget this with Tommy Reese coming in and, oh, we're just going to run and run and run the ball. Well, what happens when we see these elite teams in the playoffs? When they put nine in the box, Kyle, what's, what's going to happen then? Amari Knobloch, CJ Dupree, and and and, and Robbie Ooze, they, they can't blow the tops off defenses. They they can't get past safeties and DBs. So we, we, we're going to have to get our wide receivers up to par. I mean, and, and to answer your question about the rideouts, it was Mike Loxley who was the wide receivers coach in 2017. 100%. And, and, and people seem to – People seem not to realize this, and I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I think it's two coaches on our staff, Kyle, that's – I don't want to say they're on the clock, but I do think they're in a situation where they got to show what they can do this year. I, I, I believe Homer Wiggins and Freddie Roach is those two coaches. Mm-hmm. Freddie Ro- Homer Wiggins gets a lot of credit for Devontae Smith and Jalen Wilder. Remember, Kyle, those – those guys were already who they were when Homer Wiggins got here in 2019. Maybe we can give him credit for John Mechie, Jamison Williams. We already know who Jamison Williams was coming from Ohio State. Yeah, but but Mechie was but ga- Mechie, Wiggins, Mechie was Gaddis. Right, but I'm saying Mechie came here in 2019 with Homer Wiggins. So yeah, but but okay, the, we want to give him that. But yeah, I get what you're saying though. Yeah, yeah. No, I I agree with you 100. percent and I think Homer Wiggins, so far, Kyle, from what we've seen last year is that we we really ain't seen a big time receiver step up, and you know we we don't have we ain't seen the true number one last year. And I mean, you know, it's just it's, it's to me it's kind of telling, like you know, Homer Wiggins. I mean, what can you do? Can you develop these guys? I mean, it, it, the drops is on the players. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, you know, this is not the standard, Kyle. This ain't what we used to. You know, we don't. We ain't had a true number one all last year. So, I believe Homer Wiggins is. I believe he got to get more out of these guys. I believe that. I don't know if Coach Saban is looking at it, but I believe that he got to get more out of these guys. He, he got to get more out of them. And 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 I'm here in, in New Orleans. My son played high school football here, and I'm telling you, the word around New Orleans is Aaron Anderson left is because he got tired of watching guys drop the the ball on the field. I, I'm told that's one of the reasons he left. And you know, Kyle, me and you've had this conversation before about putting the best players on the field. Mm-hmm. So if, if 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 this is true, the word circulating around New Orleans as far as Ann Anderson, I mean, I don't want to hear nothing about Jermaine Burton and and uh, Ja'Cory Brooks, they're veterans. They, you know, they've been here a long time. Man, put the best player on the field. 
I don't care if it's one of the, the freshmen just came here to, that, that just got here this spring. Mm-hmm. We're not going to win games. We're not going to win games with Jermaine Burton and, and Ja'Cory Brooks. And I don't know if it's them that's dropping the ball. I, I don't suspect it because they both in money years. They both know and understand that the clock is ticking. And, you know, if you want to get first or second round money, you know, you you, you got to show a little more than what you did last year. So I, I, I just seem to think that Coach Saban knows and understands. Yeah, we're going to run the ball. We're going to be a run-heavy offense. But we got to be able to throw the ball too, Kyle. I mean, which, which, I, I that's how I see it, Kyle. 100%. No, I, I love it, man. Uh, I think you're absolutely right. You got to throw the ball like you bring up great points about. <laughs> Can you imagine Georgia coming out and stacking the box and trying to make, you know, Alabama right. go over the top? Like, you got to be able to stretch the field. That's why it's so imperative. That's why I've been hyping up, like, Malik Benson and Isaiah Bond. And I, I just asked uh, Taron Arnold last week. I was like, what is it about those guys specifically? And he said speed kills. Yeah, speed kills. But, A, you got to get them the football over the top. And B, most importantly, you got to catch the ball, right? You got to go up in combat and come down with the football. Those two guys, I do feel, have speed to get over the top, um, but got to give them the football and they got to hang on to the ball. Uh, Quan, I really appreciate you calling in, man. Congratulations on your son going to college. I can't even imagine how uh, sure. proud you are of your son. My son, I'm proud of my son. And he's in ninth grade. And I know that we'll be having the same conversation right. here in a couple of years when I'm telling everybody that I just right. dropped Caden off at college, man. So I appreciate your support from New Orleans. I love the Big Easy. I'll be there, you know, again um, at some point. And, um, you know, I appreciate the support, Quan. Oh, no problem. No problem, Kyle. Just, just want to call in, brother. Thank you for taking my call, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. All right. Uh, Look, if I didn't get to you on the call line, I appreciate it. We've gone at one thirty, so uh, you know this has been a great show. I love you know all the callers and uh, really appreciate you know all the support. Uh, my name is Kyle Henderson, a Bama football on YouTube. Thank you very much to everybody that called. I will put the timestamp, so um, we'll recut a couple parts from this show uh, at the beginning. I talked about my risers from fall camp. You guys definitely want to check that out. So tomorrow, which will be Monday, August fourteenth, we have player interviews. I'll bring those to you right here on Bama football on YouTube. Look, fam, I do every single thing that you see by myself on the YouTube channel, the graphics, the thumbnails, the titling, the calls. Like I take the calls manually back here. So I appreciate you guys really supporting me. It goes a long way. And I, um, I really am passionate about bringing you high quality Alabama Crimson Tide coverage. There's a lot of people who do a great job in this industry trying to be one of those guys that, um, you know, shows consistency and covers the team at a very high level. So have a good night. I appreciate all the support. Uh, thank you very much. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. Venmo link is at the top. I appreciate the tips, and I will catch you guys next show. Coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Good night, everyone.